Toyota first introduced the RAV4 back in 1996. It introduced the world to what it called the original crossover SUV, which means you've got the functionality of a sports utility vehicle on the body frame of a car. Hi, Chris Kelly here for Vehicles Test, and today we're going to be taking this fourth generation RAV4 for a test drive. Now, before we start the test, we caught up with a Toyota dealer and asked him what his customers are looking for in a compact hybrid SUV. The typical buyer for the RAV4, very, very broad. Um, a lot of times it's a, it's a growing family, a newlywed couple, you know, with the thoughts of uh, um, adding to the family mix. Um, or, you know, even sometimes the empty nester, where they still have the kids coming in, you know, on the weekends, but don't need that big Sequoia or that minivan that they once did. Designed with smaller, active families and empty nesters in mind, the fourth generation RAV4 has been totally re-engineered from the wheels up. Its aggressive lines convey an agile yet fun appearance, and the arching roof line and sloping hood suggest a sporty performance, which is a big difference from most of the flat-roofed SUVs we see on the market today. The RAV4 is available in three different trim levels. The base LE, the mid-grade XLE, and the top-of-the-line limited we're testing today. While we'll cover the details in a minute, some of the most important changes we like in the fourth generation RAV4 are, Toyota has eliminated the full-size spare from the back of the vehicle, and now a spare is neatly hidden beneath the cargo area. This gives it a nice clean look and easy access to the flip-up hatch. All trim levels of the RAV4 now come standard with a 6.1 inch touchscreen and backup camera. All-wheel drive with dynamic torque control is an available option on all trim levels. Dual zone climate controls are standard on the XLE and Limited models. And the smart key system with push button start and remote liftgate function is standard on the Limited Edition. On our way up to the slopes, we ran the RAV4 for 50 miles on cruise control at 65 miles an hour with the Eco Mode kicking in automatically and recorded an actual highway fuel economy of 47.8 miles per gallon, which was an incredible 54.2% increase over the EPA estimate of 31 miles per gallon highway. It went from 0 to 60 in just 8.5 seconds, had a 50 to 70 mile an hour passing time of 4.5 seconds, and ran the quarter mile in 17 seconds, doing 84.5 miles an hour at the end. The exterior design features a number of sharp, aggressive lines, starting with the side mirrors that are heated and include turn signals on the XLE and Limited models. An optional blind spot monitor system can be added to the mirrors as well on the Limited editions. The front grille is all new, and daytime running lights and halogen headlights with projector beams are standard on all models. On XLE and Limited models, standard fog lamps are included for the ultimate in all-weather driving illumination. And to complete the athletic look, the roof spoiler not only visually extends the arc of the roof line and enhances aerodynamics, but it also includes a brilliant LED center brake light for added safety. While we're at the rear, we checked out the new one-touch power lift gate with driver selectable memory height settings. This is a great feature in the event your garage has limited headroom or overhead obstructions, such as a garage door opener. Nice touch. So now that we've covered the exterior, let's take a good look around on the interior starting right here with the business end of things. All fourth generation RAV4s come standard with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that produces 176 horsepower at 6,000 RPM with 172 foot pounds of torque at 4,100 RPM. Unlike previous versions, however, the V6 is no longer available, but the transmission has been upgraded from a four to a six speed automatic. During our testing, the first thing we checked was the dynamic torque control all-wheel drive system, which uses information sent from a variety of sensors to automatically distribute torque between the front and rear wheels. The system has three modes. In the auto mode, power is applied to the rear wheels only when slip is detected or when it senses steering inputs and cornering forces when on road. When the sport mode is activated, 10% of the engine's torque is automatically transferred to the rear wheels. And when the lock mode is engaged, the distribution is 50-50 front to rear, up to 25 miles per hour. This is great to get you up steep, slippery hills or out of muddy ruts. All right, we're climbing up. We're going to go through this big snowbank here, right through. Next, we have the little stream, and we're going to go right through that. All right, 
Now, let's try the turn. Good handling in the turn. But power and performance are only part of the story. The rest you'll find in this upscale interior. It all starts right here with the front row seating. All versions of the RAV4 have high seats with a slim back which adds additional legroom for the rear passengers. The LE and XLE versions have a six-way adjustable driver's seat, while the limited edition adjusts in eight ways with memory, including a power lumbar support feature. Limiteds also get heated seats with two temperature settings, which is a feature we really appreciated on test day. Up on the dash, the RAV4 has an asymmetrical panel with clear blue illumination for easy viewing, and the lighting continues all the way down to the centerline cup holders, which are ahead of and just behind the gear shifter. The dash itself has a minimum of analog gauges just showing speed, tack, and fuel levels. The rest of the information such as engine temp, distance to empty, instant fuel economy, and outside air can be found by scrolling through the multi-informational display below the speedo. The wheel position itself can be customized because it tilts in telescopes, and the cruise control is located on its own stock so it can't be accidentally engaged while using other controls on the wheel. All RAV4s come standard with a 6.1 inch display audio touchscreen that supports a backup camera and Bluetooth connectivity, along with a USB, auxiliary mini jack, and six speakers. It only took a few moments for the system to recognize my iPhone, do the pairing, and then display all of my music while enabling hands-free calling from the controls on the display or on the wheel. XLEs and Limiteds also have available navigation and Entune with a whole host of apps like Bing, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Now let's get to the real utility of the RAV4. There's realistic seating for three adults in the back, and it's a 60-40 split bench seat arrangement. And with the seats folded, there's a class-leading 73.4 cubic feet of cargo space. That's more than you get with the Mercedes GLK class, BMW X3, or the Ford Escape. So as we've seen, thanks to its dynamic torque control, the fourth generation of the RAV4 can get you up and down from the mountain in style and with much better fuel economy than you'd ever expect from a sports utility vehicle.